M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the TYT9800 quad band radio, also the G7RPG hubnet node that connects to hubnet. Firstly, let's look at the transceiver. This transceiver will do 50 watts and go down to 5 watts. It's ideal for a beginner because it's inexpensive, around £170 delivered to the UK. It covers 2 metres, 70 centimetres, 6 metres and 10 metres. So it covers a wide range of frequencies. It's also dual receive. You can see that there's someone there now and if someone speaks on the other side you will hear them. You can switch over to the left side just by pressing this button here. You can use your microphone to control many of the features. I'll just put in 145, 500, and then we'll see if, if we can scan. Press a scan button here. It will start scanning up and down. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> if you turn to the left, it will scan downwards. Turn this knob. To the left it will scan downwards and if another station is received as it is there we're now receiving let's go back to that that's actually hubnet let's push the scan and that was one typing with the fist microphone now four five two one two That's what we call a gateway that is in Wales, about 10 miles from me. Look how strong the signal is. On the other side, that's GB3FI. And that's about 20 miles from me. If I turn it up, You can hear them both at the same time. Also, this transceiver will will do cross-band repeat. So you can say transmit on one frequency here using another radio and it will send it through the radio and out on another frequency. So you don't use the radio to talk. You use an external radio and we'll test that as well in a separate video. But today we're just looking at the TH9800 and the G7RPG node. And just briefly, you've got buttons along the base here. Low, VFO memory, looks like that could be a home channel, not used that one yet. That's your home channels that you can preset, scan, big menu when you press the dot, very large menu for programming items. Controllable on either side. And also separate controls for each side. So you've got volume and squelch on both sides and the on off switch here. On the fist microphone, there are four programmable buttons and an up and down button. On the side, you have lock and lamp buttons. They are backlit red PTT. So it's a nice big microphone. We've got this key two word here, it says key two. The instructions say short press the left volume and squelch. So left volume squelch. Then key two appears. Voltage will be shown on the sub band. The key two icon will appear on the display and left low VM HM SN. So these buttons here. Uh, keys will be valid for the operating band. So I suppose it's almost like a, a single receive, is it? Let's go to this side. And let's undo it. Comes back on. If we press it on this side, yeah, it doesn't do it on this side, just on this side. I'm guessing, yeah, they made it like so it could be single receive. Anyway, back to the, now we'll talk about the G7RPG node. Inside this box here, there is a Raspberry Pi connected to a Bofeng radio transmitting 
an analog signal, so not digital. Same signal that you would get on most, most radios that you see out and about. Real radio waves transmitting real voices. This then connects into the All-Star system. One of those systems that we use every day is Hubnet. Hubnet is, has been created by M0HRY, HOY, and G7RPG makes the, these node boxes for this system and everyone works as a team. So at the front here you have a, a, an indicator LED for when the item is in standby, receive and transmit. When you order your box, I think they're about £170, it comes with your own all-star number. You do need to register this number, but it can be done for you by Peter, G7RPG. When you get your box, it will have the frequency that has been assigned to the radio inside the box. So mine is 434550, and you will have your node number as well. There is also a, a CTCSS tone that's been assigned. I have added Ethernet to mine. They, are, they do work via Wi-Fi. You can control the box and where it connects using DTMF. Also, there is a control panel free of charge included with the system, which looks like this. And if I turn up my node on the correct frequency, it's got that frequency 434550 if you're listening. On my control panel, which is just using an IP address, there are apps you can use as well. I just click Hubnet and there are other systems. And you will hear the system connect. H-U-B-N-E-T connected to M-0-F-X-B. There you go. So we can connect using a DTMF number. So let's try that. If we disconnect, like so. Now I've disconnected using the control panel. This time we're going to type the connection number on my microphone here. So we key the mic and we're going to type the number that is required. So we're keying up. Now you can actually do this. It doesn't affect anyone. So star three, four, one, five, Two, two. And you might have to try a couple of times and it will connect. Let's try again. There you go. So if I call for an audio check, now we do need to add our tone, so we've got the frequency and we need to be simplex, so you don't want any plus or minus lines showing. To select this, go to menu, then turn to 24, press the button, and you want it to be off, because if you turn it to on, turn the knob, you'll get a plus and a minus, but you want it off. Press again. Now we need our tone. So if we turn to menu, tone F for tone frequency and press, we want 77. 77 hertz, press. And if we back out now, just press the menu button. There you go. We've got our tone there now. We do need to turn it on though, so to turn on ENCODE, press menu, go to 31, it says tone mode, press it and you want to turn it to ENCODE. If you turn it again to ENCODE DECODE, it just means it will send the 7070 hertz tone and it will only let through on receive a 77 hertz tone. So I don't use that, we just use ENCODE, okay? That's gonna send out the tone you back out, it now says ENCODE there, and that's for tone. So when I transmit, it will open this box up. So let's just quickly try that. You can see that on the B band, we're receiving GB7FI. 
We'll try that and then we'll afterwards we'll see if we can store it into memory. M0 FXB audio test, M0 FXB. Note that the when you when I transmit it goes green, when it transmits the box it goes red and in standby is blue. Let's just see. Golf one, Juliet Sierra Fox Truck returning. Yeah, lovely audio there. No problems at all. That's good news, isn't it? So a very good morning to you, testing out a TH9800 quad band radio, similar to the 8900, the budget version. Oh, thank you, and I'm get coming in via the G7 RPG node uh, into Hubnet. It's Andreas Western Supermare, M0FXB. Golf 1, Juliet Sierra Fox Truck returning. There you go, well, we've got a test there. Thank you very much. Yeah, just looking at your collection of radios. I, I have the DX101. Sold. <laughs> Sold the 991A857. Still got the 857. But yeah, it looks like you're active and uh, lots of nice equipment there. Take care and Happy New Year. M0FXB Andrea. So there you are. Nice friendly people on, on Hubnet. Please join, you know, join in the fun. Yep, Happy New Year, John. Catch you soon, 7-3. Okay, so that's good news. Nice, friendly, as I said. Uh, me, to me, Hubnet, if I took Hubnet out of my shack, I would. it would be like I'd lost three quarters of my shack. It's the, it's the main thing I use every day. So let's have a go. Let's have a go at storing this to memory. So we've got it in there, but we want to store it to a memory called Hubnet. So we'll long press the dot. Decide where we want the channel to go, just by turning the top left. Let's say we want it to go number 12. Then long press it again. We can start typing our, our name. We have to be quick, otherwise it times out. So we're gonna try and get Hubnet in there. Press, it moves along. Numbers and exclamation marks. Okay, once we get it in there, PQRST, then press this one again. Now it takes you back to VFO mode. If we press to go into channel mode, then turn to number 12, it will be there. Now if you don't see the name, when you're in memory mode, press the menu, turn to number 9, says display mode press it and you want it to say at the moment it's showing frequency there you are display name press that and then back out and there you are we have hub now so that's it really and overall i think for it's really good value for money it's not a yesu it's it's a budget radio which is tyt or budget radios but they do make good budget radios tyt and they make as you know several there's a couple of bugs with these items but overall i mean don't you wouldn't drive this at full power in my opinion for long periods of time i think you'd have problems it's not really it's not a workhorse but it's a very good dual band radio keep the power as low as you can get away with it's dual receive you know we've got hubnet there gb7 fi simultaneous received It's got this feature called ARTS, I might test it in a separate video, which stands for 
auto range transponder system. I, I've used this on my Yesu stuff. And it says here, activates the ARTS feature. A high tone will sound when the transceiver first detects that you are within range and a low beat will sound when other stations are in range. And as far as I know, I'm gonna do definitely try this out. And I made some videos on this with other, my Yesu FT1D does this. One sends, you know, you're constantly beeping each other and when you go out of range, it knows and it, you know, it doesn't get a reply basically. And so then it, it goes, oh, I'm out of range and it gives you a different tone. So when you're, say you're in the woods and you're trying to, you know, see how far apart you can get or trying to track each other. So you're trying to find each other. You've got these tones going back and forth. Uh, so I know that, you know, if you try and find a video on this, very few people have made videos using the system, but I definitely will make one. And otherwise, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. 100%, if you want to get an all-star node, just um, drop G7RPG an email, g7rpg at hotmail.com. He'll make a box designed for you and send it to you. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, M0FXB73, all the best.